Thank you for joining me for daily prayer. We begin with Psalm 95, verses 6 through 7. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Landis brings us our morning hymn. Come and find the quiet center. Come and find the quiet center in the crowded life. Find the room for hope to enter, find the frame where we are free. Clear the chaos and the clutter, clear our eyes that we can see. Psalm 108, verses 1 through 5. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and will make music with all my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Let us pray. O Lord God, we bow and offer to you our praise and thanksgivings for all your mercies to us throughout the night past. We bless you and entrust ourselves to you, for you alone sustain us when we sleep and when we rise. Amen. Our reading today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 39 and 40. So acknowledge today and take to heart that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath. There is no other. Keep his statutes and his commands, which I am commanding you today for your own well-being and that of your descendants after you, so that you may long remain in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. May God add a reading to the blessing and er, made it God add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. To our merciful Father who has loved us with a marvelous love, let us pray. 
Keep us faithful to the purposes inspired by your Spirit. Strengthen us with your grace so that we may bring forth all the fruits of righteousness. Keep us faithful to the purposes inspired by your Spirit. Let the goodness of your commands render us fruitful and abundant in your work. Keep us faithful to the purposes inspired by your Spirit. Let all our actions be spirited with zeal, all our zeal regulated with wisdom, and our wisdom joined with perfect integrity of heart. Keep us faithful to the purposes inspired by your Spirit. And God, we thank you that Harry Perry is improving and feeling so much better, and we ask that you bring him home from the hospital soon. And Lord, we pray for the families in Boulder who have lost loved ones. We thank you for the service of the police officer who was killed. And we pray for the gunman. And now we lift up these other prayers to you in our hearts. And we join together as praying as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O gracious Father, keep us today from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things useful. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good.